Well, today uh, we get to talk about Genshin Impact, a game I didn't think that we'd be talking about on this channel, specifically because it appears there are some issues with Genshin Impact coming to Switch, and because of those issues, it's possible it becomes a Switch Pro exclusive. Maybe one of the first Switch Pro exclusive games. Sort of confirming that Switch Pro can have and will have exclusive games. Before I get into the rest of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Into the AM. I am wearing one of their uh, Tree of Life uh, printed tees right now. Uh, they also have a bunch of standard tees that I wear underneath a lot of my dress up shirts and all of that you guys see me wear all the time. Into the AM creates some of the best shirts and they're one of the highest quality shirts I have ever worn. They're so soft. They're pre-shrunk. So the size you get and the way it fits is the way it will always fit. Why don't you head on over to their website down in the description using our link that gives you 10% off. It's into the am.com slash Nintendo Prime 10. Good luck. Now let's get into this because I don't follow Genshin Impact very, very closely, right? It's it's a game that I'm interested in. It's available on other platforms. It's free to play, a free to play RPG. I actually have some friends that do play this game. But what's interesting is they said back in January that it's coming to Nintendo Switch, but they haven't said anything else since. And there is this Twitter account called at Genshin Report. And from what I'm being told from those people that are deep in the Genshin uh, community is that this is one of the best news outlets for Genshin news. And they were answering some questions based on things they have heard from the development team. And one of the questions that were asked was, when will Genshin Switch version release? And, well, they said, likely sometime this year. That sounds like good news. But then he says this, there have been issues with the weaker Hardware. Now, we usually don't hear um, developers or news outlets refer to Switch as weaker hardware. Uh, that seems to be making a lot of headlines. But factually, Nintendo Switch is weaker hardware than pretty much everything else on the market, right? It's not a stretch to call Nintendo Switch weaker hardware than a PlayStation 4, okay? Which is where Genshin Impact is most popular. So then the question is, Okay, so what's next? Well, they respond by to that question again with a clarification on that answer and that answer, and that is that Genshin Impact might be pushed back further though and made into a Switch Pro exclusive. Now, this is a rumor, of course. This is not coming directly from the development team. This is a third party who talks to the development team, but it is looking like Genshin Impact might indeed be delayed for the Nintendo Switch Pro, or if it launches on, on Switch this year, to be exclusive to the Switch Pro. This obviously is the deal with any sort of performance issues they're running into. Um, this is very interesting because we have had talks in the past about Switch Pro, and I just said last night on live stream that I didn't think I was going to be talking much about Switch Pro until after E3, unless some news came. And this news is coming where... We talked about how I didn't think there were going to be Switch Pro exclusive games from Nintendo, even though Nintendo has put out exclusive games or at least exclusive ports to new systems. You guys remember Xenoblade Chronicles was ported to the new 3DS, but it wasn't playable on the old one. But pretty much all major 3DS games were usable across the board, even if they weren't really that playable. Remember Hyrule Warriors Legends? Yeah, I wouldn't play that on the base 3DS New 3DS only for that one. Uh, but this is very interesting to me because I did mention uh, way back when these Switch rumors started coming up, Switch Pro rumors, and people were all like, are there going to be exclusives? And I try to like temper people down. Hey, relax. Nintendo's not going to like put games exclusively on that platform. But third parties will. And third parties will because when they make promises of we want to bring this game to Switch, and then they try to, and the performance hit is so horrible, and they're having such a hard time making it run, they literally are incentivized to wait for the Pro. Now, the major incentive to get Genshin Impact, a free-to-play game, on the base Switch is obvious. 80 plus million, 85 plus million install base. When you release it on the Pro, you have a much smaller install base. 
So clearly, they would like to have it on everything, I would think. But at the same point, it's also possible that when Switch Pro comes out, that quickly becomes the leading model in the market. It becomes the market leader in sales in terms of Switch units. So the market might shift to the Pro, and then that makes releasing exclusive games on it more viable. Again, it's going to affect install base. As an example, we now know that Ninjala has passed 7 million units installed on Switches. That's a large number. Is Genshin Impact going to be able to hit that if it's only on Switch Pro? I don't know. That's that's pushing it, right? And the thing is, Genshin Impact originally made headlines because it looked like they might have been asset flipping and stealing from Breath of the Wild. Turns out, no, it's not Breath of the Wild. Go ahead and play Genshin Impact if you want on other platforms. You'll quickly find out it's nothing like Breath of the Wild. It's actually quite an interesting game. It's a very different kind of uh, free-to-play RPG. I'm, I'm, I'm actually enjoying the little bits I have played of it. I'm avoiding playing more because it's one of those games that kind of doesn't end and i already am still playing another game that never ends in world of warcraft uh and if i have a problem with that game i don't need to add more never-ending games into my library then you know nintendo will come up with a zelda mmo a pokemon mmo um you know a, a whatever a mario mmo and next thing you know i'm going to be all up on that bandwagon so it is what it is uh but yeah that's <sighs> Switch Pro exclusives are going to be a thing from third parties. If this is the first, you know, almost confirmation we have of a, of a potential Switch Pro exclusive, there's going to be more. I Remember, guys, I've heard in the past that games like Red Dead Redemption 2 were attempted behind the scenes to bring the Switch. That's right. Red Dead Redemption 2 was attempted to be brought to Switch by developers. Obviously, it never came out. It, it, it didn't work well enough. But could that be a Switch Pro game? Absolutely especially if some preliminary work's already been done and it just easily converts to the Switch Pro. Obviously, uh, other games are going to look better on Switch Pro. The Witcher 3, right? Uh, it actually runs pretty decent for what the hardware is on Switch, but imagine higher resolution, higher frame rates on you know, that, uh, on a Switch Pro. That's just going to happen. Switch Pro is naturally going to improve games already on Switch that have dynamic resolution and dynamic uh, frame rate scaling because some will, you know, pop to 60 FPS, pop down to 30, pop to 60. Some have unlocked frames, all that jazz. So this is the kind of stuff that we could see Switch Pro improve. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Uh, also, be sure to tune into our E3 coverage. I'm not going to dive too much into it, but June 12th, there's a link down in the description to set up your notifications. We have a massive show planned for you. New partners coming every single day. I've had a new partner talking to us today on a Sunday, of all things. Kind of weird. We usually, we don't get people talking to us on weekends, but it is what it is. I'm thrilled. New audio equipment coming. Uh, this might officially be the last video you see of me using this microphone if everything goes correct. Uh, otherwise, folks, I am Nathaniel Robodance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch each and every one of you guys in the next video.